Hey guys, how are you? Happy Wednesday. Um, we are talking today about body love versus body improvement. Are these two things mutually exclusive? And if not, how can we bridge the gap to go from one extreme over to the other? So um, I am Tara from TaraAllenHealth.com and if we haven't met yet, hi, I'm a registered nurse uh, certified as a nutritionist, a health coach, and a personal trainer. Um, I'm also a mom and I'm sitting here in my car because <laughs> my little guy is sleeping in the back so hopefully I can keep my voice relatively quiet and not uh, startle him. So I have some notes in my lap on a paper towel because he fell asleep in the car so the show must go on, right? So if I'm looking down at my lap, that's why. Um, you may have noticed that I titled this today Wonder Wednesday. So last week I came to you guys live and I called it Wellness Wednesdays. And I mentioned that I want to start doing these lives at least weekly, um, something that you guys can rely on. And I asked for a little bit of help with a title. So if you guys want to weigh in on a title, feel free to do that because I'm not set on this yet. But my beautiful friend Joelle, um, did suggest Wonder Wednesday, so I'm kind of trying that on for size, and I like it. So let's see how that goes. If you are joining me live, come and say hi. If you're watching the replay, comment replay so I can come back and say hi to you guys after the fact. And um, as always, just type in your questions and I'll address them after. Um, okay, so I actually had another topic in mind to come to you live with today for Wonder Wednesday, and it got bumped. Don't worry, I will talk about it another time. But I had an event last night, and something happened at the event that made me just want to come live and talk to you guys about it today. So, hi Danielle, how are you? Thanks for joining me. So, last night I was at this place, if you're local to Long Island, it's in Huntington, um, called The Book Review. It's an independent bookstore, really cool place, so check it out if you haven't been there. And there was this ADHD um, event and there was a New York Times journalist that was there signing his book called ADHD Nation. His name is Alan Schwartz. Um, he did this wonderful presentation and I was there on the nutrition slash holistic end. So um, what he was talking about a little bit was how he believes ADHD is sort of overdiagnosed and over medicated. Um, and not that ADHD doesn't exist and not that medication is never the solution but he just believes that it's a bit uh, overkill right now so that was what his presentation was about and I was there talking to people about what kind of nutritional dietary changes could help with ADHD or other behavioral and cognitive difficulties that children have or even adults um, oh Danielle words of wisdom Wednesday I like it all right that's definitely gonna be uh, one that's gonna go up here I'm gonna think about that one thank you um, so so at the after the event last night after the presentation I was I got to speak to a lot of the people that attended and that was really cool I love 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 when people come up to me and share a little glimpse into their world and ask me their questions or kind of tell me what's going on with them so this one woman um, was telling me that she started meditating and, uh, with her son who's nine and that she's seen a lot of improvements in his ADHD with the meditation and along with the meditation they've been talking a lot about gratitude um, when she saw my I had like a, a banner in the corner and when she saw that I was a nutritionist she kind of laughed and leaned forward and said I'm trying to practice the gratitude too but I'm not very grateful that I'm still holding on to those 20 pounds extra that I had when you know when I was pregnant with him and it made me realize, um, I actually talk to my husband about this all the time, but what's so funny is when people find out what I do for a living, I find that a lot of people feel the need to sort of confess something, like, oh, I don't want to tell you what I eat for lunch, or, um, oh, you know, I, I'm holding on to this extra weight, and, you know, maybe you can help me with that. Whatever it is, people feel the need to say something. And I joke because... I say, well, if I was a cop, I don't think anybody would be coming up to me and saying, I just sped on my way to the store or something like that, right? There's something about being a nutritionist or a trainer or whatever that people feel the need to almost have like a confession. Um, I don't mind it because whatever, whatever it takes for people to open up and have a conversation with me, I'm happy to do it. But I just thought that that was kind of funny. 
And it made me realize that body love right now is so important and it's also so in vogue, right? Love your body, body love. I even did a group program last uh, March, I believe, called Body uh, Love Your Body. It was a 30-day program. But a lot of people, I think, get lost with, okay, I know you're supposed to love your body exactly the way it is and be grateful, but I also have this other thing that I want to change about it. So for a lot of women, it's weight loss, but a lot of times it's something else. Maybe um, they're looking to get stronger, put on some muscle. Um, maybe it's something physical or a disease or a disease process that they're looking to um, you know, halt or reverse, something like that. And then there's, you can't see my hands really, but you know, it's like, one end of the spectrum or the other and there's just like not a lot of room to get from one to the other so that's what I want to talk to you guys about today um, I, I talk about weight loss a lot because that's what a lot of people come to me looking for um, but it's never it's never just about that it's always about health first um, I will never advocate anything that's going to help somebody to lose weight if it's not also getting them healthier so this is what this is what I want to wonder this is what I wonder um, on this wonder Wednesday that's what we're going with right now I wonder what it is that you love about your body right now the way it is I would love for you to type it in the comments if you're bold enough to do that if not feel free to message me or even just this could be a rhetorical question just think about it in your mind what is it about your body that you love it could be something that it does for you um, you know the way you feel at certain times the fact that it can carry you through your busy day or maybe it's an exercise class you took or a sport that it helps you to do or even on those days where you feel like there's nothing to love about your body because we all have those days you can simply just close your eyes and realize that you're breathing without thinking about it and your heart's beating without thinking about it and that's pretty miraculous in and of itself, right? Um, if you can start there, even if it feels awkward to be so grateful about these little things about your body, if you can start there, that body love will lead to gratitude. That gratitude will give you a bit of a push to motivate you to make some healthy choices for yourself. So if you're feeling grateful about your body and what it already does for yourself, you're gonna be more likely to go for a walk or hit the gym or eat an extra salad today or anything like that. You know, take, take a minute to meditate, whatever it is. And then once you're making those healthy choices, you, you will end up having those body changes that you want anyway, right? So that's kind of how you bridge the gap. So you start with a little bit of body love, even if it feels hard to do. You're a bit grateful, you're making better choices, um, you're carving out some time and space for yourself, and then those improvements will just end up coming anyway. So we're gonna be taking this conversation over to my private Facebook group. If you guys aren't a part of it yet, I'm gonna post a link here, and definitely come in and join us. Um, it's it's great to comment on this page, but if you have something like this that might feel a little awkward or you want more of a confidential space to continue the conversation, that'll be a good place to do it. So the Facebook group is called Lean In with Tara Ellen Health. I'm gonna post the link and come join us. Um, if you wanna even just sit in the back row, so to speak, and just kind of watch as everybody else participates before you jump in, that's totally fine. But these are the types of things that we talk about. I wanted to start off the first Wonder Wednesday um, with this because then as we talk about body improvements, at least you could be grounded in some gratitude because our bodies are pretty awesome, right? Danielle saying, love how when I stick to my exercise regimen, my body allows me to feel more energized throughout the day. Yes, yes, it's so true. You know, it's funny because people will tell me all the time, I already feel so tired. I don't think I could exercise because, you know, I wouldn't have the energy for it. But it's really the opposite, like you said. Once you get over that hump of starting to exercise, it actually ends up energizing you a bit more. So I'm glad that you mentioned that. Yeah, our bodies are pretty cool, right? So. Anyway, on this Wonder Wednesday, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I am grateful that my little guy is still sleeping through this. Um, so I'll post the link to Lean In with Tara Ellen Health, and come join us over there, all right? Talk to you soon, bye.